back to the reel. This video is going to be a bit of a roundup of um, this year's kind of saltwater fly fishing season and also a bit of uh, what I've been getting up to since the last video. So after the last video I met up with a guy called Paul from Limitless Loops. Paul's a casting instructor, he's a great caster, a great guy. He guides on bass in the local area to me and we met up for a session. Paul took me to a mark he fishes. Uh, we got there uh, in the dark early in the morning um, and headed out and fished through till sort of late morning, mainly fishing uh, surface flies like gurglers um, and chucking them at feeding bass, which was good fun. Paul had a few small small bass, but I managed to get a, a slightly better fish um, come out from a groin from under some bladder rack and absolutely smash my fly. It wasn't huge, but it was definitely my best bass so far. Um, and it was great to have, have one on a surface fly at last. Paul's been a great source of advice um, on the bass and my next kind of outing was the Orvis Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival. At the festival I met up with Paul and some of his friends and we fished together on the Friday afternoon. When I started fishing, I started fishing solo and I fished um, a mark on the north, north end of Hailing Island and within about 20 minutes of the competition starting, I had my first fish, which I think is also, was also slightly bigger than um, the fish that I caught when I was out with Paul. So again, slightly better. I actually measured this one um, because it was for the competition at 36 centimetres. Not massive, but a nice bass and definitely in the right direction uh, that I want to be heading. On the second day, um, I fished solo the whole day. Um, I started on a beachy mark, um, chucking an intermediate um, clouses and stuff um, before sort of moving up to Portsmouth Harbour, um, trying there for where I know that there was a few mullet around, but didn't find any fish. Um, then I moved over into Chichester Harbour. Again, looked great. It was high tide, no flow, probably didn't help. Um, but then I did move to a, another mark in Chichester Harbour and I did get into a very small bass on a, on a gurgler again um, after missing a few takes. Finished up the day um, on the north end of the island again, and I was fishing a small like lagoon that was full of mullet. They were jumping out of the water everywhere, um, but I don't think it was the kind of conditions um, for catching them on the fly. The water was quite deep; it was about four foot. They were splashing around on the surface. Maybe they'd have taken a ghostbuster or something, um, but it was like they were just playing around. They were jumping. Um, chasing each other about whether they were actually feeding is up for debate. So what was great about the festival was the social side of it. Uh, having the opportunity to meet other fly fisher men and women um, has been a bit of a game changer for me. Meeting people, sharing experiences, um, it just opens up opportunities um, in your fishing that perhaps you wouldn't get otherwise. So. I would highly encourage people to go to the festival if you get the chance or similar events, competitions, um, not necessarily competitions, but fishing events, um, exhibitions like the BFFI, that kind of thing. I'm gonna try and go to next year for the first time. It's all opportunities to meet people and you know give yourself um, opportunities to do new things. On the third day of the festival, I fished with Paul and the other guys, um, we fished um, a mark on the south end of Hailing Island um, and we struggled but I did manage to get a small bass on a clouser um, purely by chance really. Uh, um, we clouser. fished most of the way up uh, the channel and just happened to get into that fish.
<laughs> I'm overplaying it. <laughs> I could have had it in a minute ago. <laughs> Uh, mostly orange. Quite a bit of flash in it though. Yeah, yeah, that's good. If I can get a shot What's it looking like? After the festival, um, I met up with another guy to fish called Andy, who is part of the Mayfly project. They do outstanding work with um, children in foster care, getting them into fishing and giving them the opportunity to fly fish, which they would probably never, never get otherwise. Andy's a great guy. Um, we got talking on Instagram about uh, fly fishing for bass and finally decided to uh, meet up and fish together. We fished a, a beach mark and there was lots of fish moving around, mainly shoals of baby mullet and smaller um, kind of fry swimming around. There were probably bass around, but we didn't get into any, unfortunately. But it was great to meet up and share our fishing stories and share our passion for fishing. So the saltwater fly fishing season isn't over. Um, it's just for me, I'm probably gonna struggle to get out now. Um, I tend to be able to get out sort of early in the morning. So now that we're starting to lose the light in the mornings, I'm not going to be able to get out as much. So whether I get any more saltwater fly fishing videos done, um, probably not, but never say never. I'm going to be turning my attention more to pike and potentially some grayling fishing. I'm trying to find some uh, local venues, particularly for pike, so that I can target them for shorter sessions and not have to make a whole day of it necessarily because I've had to pay quite a big chunk for a day ticket, for instance. Being able to get out for two or three hours is gonna be a bit more realistic with family commitments and that kind of thing. Currently in the process of building a glass, five glass fly rod for pike, um, but it could also be used for, for carp. I could even use it in the salt for bass if I wanted to, but it's gonna be fun testing that out on the pike over the winter. So you should see uh, some videos coming of pike fishing in the next few months. And one thing, um, I don't normally ask for likes, subscribes or anything like that, and I'm not gonna start, but I did just wanna say, if anyone's interested, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the real, spelt as in fishing reel, dot Dan. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen um, and you can follow me on Instagram um, and feel free to ping me a message if you've got any questions about uh, saltwater fly fishing, pipe fly fishing, anything like that. And yeah, tight lines, and I'll see you in the next one.